Yeah, so hi everyone, my name is Ademile Owen Lowe. I'm a filmmaker, director, uh, scriptwriter, editor. Um, and today I'll be unboxing the Ronin DJI Ronin S Essential. Now I'm sure you're wondering why I'm saying Essential because most of you just know the DJI Ronin S. When I found out too that it was the Ronin S Essential, I found out that it was, it's called Essential because they only put in the things that are essential, the things that are necessary for you to use, like the gimbal itself. Uh, so the price is a bit, you know, lower than the original thing. The original running S goes for like $799, but this bad boy here goes for $599, $600 a day about. Quite a lot of money, but it's worth it. So, um, this is the unboxing of the running S Essential. I've used other um, DJI, you know, other kinds of gimbals in the past where I know you guys know the popular one that's always like, you know, like an every it's called the Running M, where you use for a lot of music videos, you use it in movies too, but basically people use it in a lot of music videos. But it was, it was very stressful because, you know, you had to like, you know, widen your arms and stuff. But this one is just one, it's like, like a tripod stand. I feel it's, it's better to have one stand than have you know, you having to carry heaven and earth and go through all that stress to just do one production. It's economical, so to speak. It's 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 easier and it has a lot of functions. Trust me, this thing has has it's it's so creative. You know, it it allows you to express yourself. It gives you the freedom to be a one man army, so to speak. Like someone like me, I I can actually just walk all by myself. You know, and um, this 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 is gonna help me a long way. So I'm I'm so glad I got this. I I received this. It was delivered like two days ago. Um, so this is the unboxing, and I can't wait to we see what's inside. The first thing you notice is that it is not a regular case for you know items you buy. It is made out of foam. It's uh, I think they call this foam polystyrene. Made out of foam polystyrene. It is to protect the items inside and DJI for some reason, well for good reasons, decided to make the entire body, you know, they made the entire case out of the foam, which makes a whole lot of sense. So the softness from outside, the softness inside just protects the entire item. You know, a lot of cases that we, we do, they have the, the foam inside and uh, but the outside is always like you know regular it's always hard and you know but i, I, th I think it's a good idea i think it's, it gives you that sense of oh you are safe even if it falls you know that okay there's a lot of foam everywhere so i, I i'm safe and i think it's kind of fun that's also waterproof you know water cannot go through and at the same time it makes things very easy it's, it's so light to carry. you feel like you're carrying nothing i hear i hear that the, the runniness is actually it's kind of heavy i mean we even have tutorials online that show you how to, to gym, you know, to exercise your arms so that you you, you have the strength to, to carry this. But with this, if it, it feels like I'm carrying, you know, a bag to work, you know, it, does, it doesn't feel like there's one mad gadget in it. So I think the packaging is, is, is reasonable. The color, the color too is, it makes a whole lot of sense because if it were to be the regular white that I know they use all these kind of foams for, you know, you'd be thinking of how oh, it might get dirty when you go on set. And I also think the color because it helps distract. You're not, it's not drawing attention to itself, which is good so that somebody will not pick up your your box when you're not looking at it. So I think it's very good. I think color choice is good. Uh, the design is slick. It's simple. It's nice. It doesn't have too many things around it. And it just has the DJI moniness written on top of it boldly because they are proud of themselves. They're proud of them too. So let's get into it. Let's see what we have inside the Ronin Essential. Because I heard they removed something, but let's see. So DJI has, you know, this is like a very common lock that they have. Very easy to open. You just pull this out, you turn it, and there you go. You have it open. And here we have the Ronin. It's like a maze inside here. There's, you know, there's so many compartments with so many things and everything protected by that foam like I mentioned, you know, from, inside, from the outside to the inside. So, let's start with the gimbal itself. The main machine, the main bad boy. Yeah. 
Now these things are tightly put in place you know, so that it doesn't just shake shake, especially when you maybe want to transfer from here to there. It's like they don't want to bring it up. So this is the gimbal itself. This is what does the this is what does the magic, as you can see. Uh, this is where you put your camera, you balance your camera on this, you 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 do everything with this. It has this sort of a joystick. So people that a lot of us that used to play a lot of games, a lot of FIFA, a lot of you know computer games, we would love the fact that you know it's it's easy to control rather than have buttons to press. You know, a joystick makes life very easy so it makes your camera movement smooth and easy to operate um so and this these are the axes these, these are the things that will take you know that give you all the infinite roll here to there up down tilt left right and everything so so let me just place this one down for now as we check other things that we have yes so we have the power bank itself which is also the grip. I think that's like the amazing thing about the Ronin S is that the the grip that you hold on to is also the powerhouse. This is what powers the gimbal itself, and it is what you would hold. Unlike the other, um, no, correct. unlike the other gimbals I've worked with, you you put the battery somewhere else and you have other places to hold here and there. But this makes a whole lot of sense. You know, I hold on to this, and this also is the power. You can see the power indication here. You know, so when I put this on, I think the lights will come on. Let me try that. Then you can see. Although I need to fully charge it before I use it. Uh, let me put that back on. Finally, yes. So I put it up. So this is the powerhouse. This is like the most important person because if you don't have this, this guy is useless. So I think, let me show I believe it goes this way. So that goes in that way and you lock it. So as you can see, power to gimbal. Makes life so easy. Just one hand. You know, you're not carrying things up and down. Now another fantastic thing that I heard about that I'm so excited about is, is a stand. It's an extension, but at the same time, it's a stand. It makes life so easy. You know, other, other, the other DJI Ronin I worked with, the Ronin M in the past, had an external stand elsewhere where when your arms start getting tired, you have to locate it, look for it and drop it. But this, if you get inside, just, you know, you're holding it like this, you just open it up. Let, let, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this goes right here. You just screw it in. So like I said, it sounds like an extension. But at the same time, if I'm tired and looking, okay, okay. There's nothing happening. Let me just put it there. Just open the legs and this happens. And I think that is that is like the most intelligent thing I've seen in a long time. So as, as you notice, uh, there is there is this you know nylon protecting the like I said the powerhouse itself. That just tells us that this is like the most important baby here, or the most important thing in, in, in so, so let me get rid of this one, so that I can have that fantastic, it, it has a fantastic grip, trust me. There is, it feels so good, you know, in your arm. It is not, it's not slippery, it's not, it's not hard during, you know, your palm. It's, it's, it's something I can easily hold. Even the leg itself has this extra, I don't know what they call it, but it's, it's just so very soft and nice, so you do not get tired, although it's quite heavy. But at the same time, when you have something that's so comfortable like this, you might actually forget that, oh, this thing is heavy and you just keep enjoying yourself. And I think the design and the color, I think the color for me is, is just the best thing. You know, it's, it's black, it's, it, it's, it's, it's not distracting. You know, when you're in an event and you are carrying something that probably is maybe purple, green, yellow, everybody's just like, what's happening? But with this, there's no distraction. You know, for production, we usually want to go with darker things so that it doesn't distract people. People don't get drawn to it. And trust me, this this alone, trust me, whether it's dark or not, when people see it, they would actually get drawn because it looks very, very good. So, uh, let, let's see what else is inside inside the pack. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is the mono. Now, I'm sure most of us do not read all these things because we have tutorials online that tell you know they tell us everything. But probably DJI still says, okay, let's just put it in 
probably somebody will read it. Probably there are still some important things that people have not put online. So I think it's good if you have the time, take it, read it. As another thing that's inside the box. Um, I think I'm done with what is on this side. We still have a little bit more. Yes. So we have, let me start with this one. We have the, um, should I say USB cord? It's not the typical USB cord, but this goes into the Ronin and it, you use it to charge the Ronin and you use it to connect to your PC or your your Mac whenever you need to upgrade the software. Um, that's what this is for. Now we have this little screw thing. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, um, and this is what it does. It is for this. In case you have, whenever you mount your camera on the gimbal and you have a lens that's probably very, very heavy, this is used to what? Screw this on to the, you know, to the plate and balance and probably hold it so that, you know, you don't lose the balance and everything because the gimbal is all about balance. And when you balance it, you do not want things tilting, you know, something back. So that's why you have these two guys for. Then we have the first base plate. I believe this was newly added because other runnings I've seen usually have only this this particular kind of base plate. But I think they discovered that when people use this in the past, their lenses, you know, sometimes still have issues. You know, they always like scratch the surface, and you know, the lens won't move in that. You know, you know, every lens should, you know, you zoom in, it should be very fluid. It should be, it shouldn't be, you know scratching the surface so that's why they added this one so you mount the camera on this one first then you place this one on top of this so you have that space for your lens to do whatever it wants with that you have this to also support it and push it up so they have two of this not just one what else do we have yes so in order for you to you know um put your attach your camera to this you need screw so they've given us three screws. You basically need two, one for this, one for this, and this is an extra. So one of the things they removed, and or two things they removed, and the reason why they call it Renes Essential is because they removed some important things. Not really, not that important, some optional things. Let me put it that way, not important. So like the like I, I mentioned the charging of the running. It doesn't have a power, a, a charging, um, the charging head. Oh, like on. the one that goes into the into the socket. It doesn't have that, so you have to look for that yourself, or you you buy it again from them. To me, I feel they shouldn't have removed that. That makes no sense. I think DJI was just being too selfish because they want you to go back and buy it, and it's like going back to the same amount, you know, for the original in S. I think that doesn't make sense. And also, they removed the manual focus wheel here. You, you, well, it depends on if you use it. Like I said, it's optional because nowadays we have cameras that have autofocus, you know, um, abilities. And nowadays they, they're actually getting better. Um, so if you have a camera that automatically focuses on its subject very, very well, you don't necessarily need this. So. I understand why they removed it. If you need it, you can get it. So if you have a camera that you know, oh, the autofocus is not so good, you like, you prefer to manually rack your focus, like I used to in the past. But now I think I need to move to something that focuses very, 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 very fast. Um, then my, you might need to go purchase this. So it, it goes on the side, so you don't have to be touching the lens. Because if you touch the lens, you will lose balance, obviously, because the weight on your hand, hand will bring it down. So with it here, you just do that. So, Basically, that's what they removed. I don't mind them removing that one because, you know, yes, it, it serves a big purpose. But the charger, Abba, it's in Apple. I think that should have just been, I mean, just throwing, just a charger. It will kill you to put it there. But, like I said, the good thing about this also is that it lasts for 12 hours. If you, if you charge it properly on your first buy, like I'm going to do now. I mean, you could shoot throughout the whole day. 12 hours is a lot of time to use this thing for you do not have to think about going back or sitting down somewhere to charge it and again they, they do not have like an extra battery where you can just slip in so i think that's why they made sure that the powerhouse will last you as long as as it can and 12 hours for any production you and i know is makes a whole lot of sense
And I think that is all we have in our nest. As you can see, there's nothing more. It's just these items that make this bad boy here. And all you need to do is set it up, put your camera, and enjoy your shoot. So that's all we have of the unboxing. Um, I think this is going to do me a whole lot of good when it comes to my work, my production. Um, I think I'm going to have a good time with the Rones, a session. The Rones came out sometimes last year and um, they recently released the Ronin SC. The Ronin SC is a lot smaller than this. It is made for DSLR cameras, mirrorless cameras are very, very small. But I decided to go for this one because I might go on sets where they have red scarlet, red dragon. You know how big red cameras could be. And I believe this can still carry it. So if you have a camera that is still very heavy, like most DLS, DSLRs are still quite heavy, Canons and, and the likes, you should, I, I recommend you go for the Ronin S, not the Ronin SC. Yes, the Ronin SC has new features, but the good thing is that the new features now have been transferred to the Ronin S. Feature like the at active track mode where you, you leave the gimbal and it follows whoever you have you have placed for it to track. Initially, the Ronin S did not have that. They only had the regular things. And the SC came out and people were like, oh, now that we have we have the S, do we now have to go and spend money and buy the SC? So I think DJI did a great job in considering everybody who already had this. Although I didn't have it then, I right? thank God now. But they considered everybody who had this. I said, okay, let's just transfer the upgrade of the SC into this. So now you have the active track on this. So all you just need to do is connect your system to your, I mean, your running to your system. And the instructions, you go online on YouTube, you see a lot of instructions on how to upgrade this to have the active track function. Yeah, so you guys subscribe to the channel so you get notifications and you would, um, you get to see what the Ronin S can do. I will be posting about the upgrade and at the same time, I will be posting about um, the test I will be running on the Ronin S in the city of Lagos. This is like the toughest city to be in. So if we, if this, if DJ wants to prove that they have a gimbal that could make every footage steady, okay, then we'll try it in Lagos and we'll see what's up. Because the roads here, sorry to say, are not as smooth as the ones that you guys shoot over there. So we would be doing a very serious test to see how bad or how good this um, bad boy is. So there you have it with the unboxing of the Ronin S Essential. I would advise everybody who is into production, you should have this. You know, it is it is it's important to have something that would help smoothen your images when you do wedding maybe wedding videography or you filmmaking uh, music videos in particular you want to have those smooth shots um, you don't want to look all shaky and unprofessional I believe you should have this you know in the back in your back pocket somewhere to work with all the time it's very very useful very easy to to handle very easy to even package I'm sure um, and it does a lot of work it's it has a lot of functions that would help you that will help increase your creativity as a filmmaker so the running s is is very very good i believe everybody should get it um, i thank god i've gotten one you know and this bad boy is going to do a whole lot of things for me okay so if you have questions you want to ask maybe i've missed something you want to know about about the running s um feel free to you know send me a message and i would gladly reply if you have questions about production i will still be you know putting out posts about production basically filmmaking directing a whole lot of stuff and a lot of unboxing too of you know stuff like this um so yeah like i said feel free to ask anything in the comment section let's talk let's communicate you know, if you have other ideas, if there are things I've not mentioned that you know more, I'm ready to learn and, and know more about this. So, basically, that's it.